Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna Nicole. And as you can see, well, you can't see, but <laughs> right now I am headed to the post office. Today's video will kind of be just a day in my life. Um, I have a pretty busy day today. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to the post office right now. And then I am definitely going to the gym today. But I also want to stop by Ulta really quickly just so that I can get some um, skincare stuff. And yeah, so, and I also want to take down my Christmas <laughs> decor today. It's almost like we're like mid January right now. So I really want to take that down. But yeah, so I will just be taking you all along with me throughout the day. It is super, super cold outside today. Um, we're supposed to get snow tomorrow, which is one of the biggest motivations I had to get up and actually go to the gym today because I know I probably won't be able to go tomorrow with like ice on the roads and everything. So I'm going today as soon as I leave the post office. But yeah, um, I'm almost at the post office now. Actually, I'm about to turn in and yeah, so I'll talk to you guys um, as soon as I leave the post office. I love the post office and I'm actually at the gym now. I was talking to my mom on the way up here also is right next to the gym so i can head over there tomorrow i mean not tomorrow i can head over there right after i'm done with the gym um i'm kind of procrastinating just a little bit but i know once i get in there it'll feel good and then i can leave and go to ulta yeah let's just go ahead and go into the gym working on a weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit your block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up Oh, you see my text, baby. I am so. leaving the gym and I actually just ran to the cart really quickly to grab my wallet But now I'm going into Ulta just to see if they have any like face stuff that I can use I don't know. I might get something. I might not. I just want to see what they have. So let's go into Ulta All right, I just left Ulta and I did end up getting some things. Um, so basically a really quick story or quick recap or whatever. For the new year, one of my new year's resolutions was to focus more on skincare, which is why I went into Ulta and I actually got some skincare stuff because before this year I didn't really like care that much about skincare. Actually, I didn't care at all about skincare. So I have like just dark spots that I would like to get rid of. And I would like to be more proactive with my skin instead of reactive because normally I would break out and then I would like uh, change up my skincare routine just to get rid of the breakouts and then fall back into the old habits and then break out again. And it was just like a circle or it's just like a cycle of breaking out, getting rid of the breakouts and then breaking out again. So this year I decided I wanted to be proactive with my skincare and just, um, you know, take care of my skin before the breakouts come or like to prevent the breakouts from, com from coming. So I can give you guys a haul of what I got. So I have seen a lot of people use the micellar cleansing water. And so I got that just because um, I've seen people use this to remove their makeup and everything. Um, and so I got that. And then I have also heard a lot of good things. I also heard a lot of good things about the micellar, micellar, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I've, I've heard a lot of good things about that, so that's why I got that. And then I also got um, stuff from The Ordinary brand. Um, I got the vitamin C, just because my body has typically been reacting well to vitamin C. Um, I actually taken a lot of vitamin C, so I got that. And then I heard a lot of good things about the hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary as well. Actually, um, my friend Katie, who you guys have seen, she told me about this. And then after that, I literally heard about it everywhere. So I went to Ulta and I got some. And yeah, I can't wait to tell you guys about it. If it doesn't work, you guys will definitely hear it. If something, if I break out from this stuff, you will hear about that too. So <laughs> you guys will know before anyone else. But yeah, so um, I am actually, I'm actually kind of hungry right now. So I'm going to eat this protein bar that I packed for after the gym. 
It's the Think High Protein Bar. It's a chocolate brownie one. And um, I'm also going to run to Walmart to get a few things. I know I need some water. So I'm going to go pick up some water before it starts snowing <laughs> tomorrow. And yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, um, look, the Valentine's Day stuff is already up. Not going down that aisle. <laughs> It's already up. Ah. Okay, I am leaving Walmart now. I have my water bottles back there. I did not really vlog inside of Walmart because I, for some reason, I didn't grab a buggy, and there's no way in the world I will be able to carry the water bottles and vlog. So I just got the water bottles and I grabbed some salad too, and yeah, left Walmart. And now uh, the most fun part of the day. That was a lot of sarcasm in case you couldn't tell. Um, I am going to go get my oil changed. And the last time I got my oil, oil changed, he said um, as soon as I hit a certain amount of miles, which I have passed at this point, he told me that I would have to get something else done to my car. So we're going to go get that done. Going to go adult. <laughs> Yeah, today has been very productive. I am so proud of how productive today has been. I woke up really early and yeah, I got a lot done. I feel like I'm my most productive whenever I'm vlogging. So yeah, maybe I'll keep vlogging productive days in my life to like manifest a bunch of productive days. But so have you guys sat down and actually made like a new year's resolution or like a list of things you would like to get done this year or accomplish this year because I haven't actually put together a vision board, but I did write down everything that I would like to do this year, everything I would like to get done, and everything that I hope happens this year. So, and I do have a, a pretty good list. <laughs> so, I would like to sit down and do a video on that, but I don't know, it might be too late. Uh, I don't think it'll do well at this point, but I do have a list of things that I would like to accomplish this year and get done this year. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty optimistic about this year. Last year, was, was is definitely a hard year to beat in my opinion last year was amazing last year was such a good year for me and I'm just feeling optimistic about this year I don't want to you know hope for too much because you really never know but I also want to stay positive and just you know assume the best because that's all we can do I guess with especially with everything that's going on in the world you literally all you can do is just hope for the best <laughs> But yeah, so if you guys have any New Year's resolutions that you have and that you want to comment down below, I know a lot of people don't like to talk about their plans. I'm one of those people, but like if you feel comfortable enough commenting that down below, comment down below some of your resolutions. Um, and yeah, I feel like that would be um, a cool thing to do. <laughs> so yeah. Hey guys, so it is much, much later now. Um, I am obviously back home. I just got out of the shower actually. And I was going to try the new products that I got from Ulta, but I wanted to try them on camera for you guys. So once again, I got the vitamin C suspension. I don't really know much about these products. I just kind of um, read the bag to see what it would do. And I just know that vitamin C, I, I take a lot of vitamin C. So I got this one and I'll probably, I probably won't use this one at night. I'll probably put it on in the morning. This one is more more of actually I'll show you this one is more of a cream and so yeah I figured I would just put it on um, in the mornings or days where I'm not wearing makeup and then I also got the hyaluronic acid this one has a ton a ton a ton of really good reviews and on the back of it it says to use it at night and in the morning so I'm going to use this one at night and in the mornings just like it says and then yeah I'll just use this one only in the mornings yeah so i just wanted to show you guys me putting it on i'm breaking out right here and like in the middle of my forehead i tend to break out right here in the middle of my forehead a lot just because apparently online it says that um you break out right here based on how you eat and i've been eating a ton of like chocolate and like just food that's not really good for me so i guess as soon as i fix that it will clear up and hopefully this will help clear everything up as well so I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and put this on and as you can see it's kind of like a little squeeze tube 
which I like. I don't know, it just feels really bougie. So I already washed my hands and everything too. Yeah, it just says to apply a few drops to your face um, in the morning and at night. And I'm going to try to follow that as much as I can, like as much as I can remember. But um, I actually tend to really like skincare stuff or like just trying new things. So I'll probably stick to this for a minute. And yeah, I'll just try my best to keep you guys updated. So for the rest of the night, I'm just going to take these braids out. I'm actually taking them out tonight and I'm going to eat some dinner and relax a little bit. So yeah, that's going to conclude this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all right back here next time with another video. Bye guys. I was